Previously on The Boys Who Brunch. Jordan is Jennifer's brother. Yep, she caught us together. And that was the end of Jennifer and Ray. And the beginning of Ray, Ray is gay. gay. I'm actually thinking about giving another shot. With Jen. No, 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 Jen. Earlier I had a look back success story. A look what who? You know, this beautiful guy that was walking by me. I looked back and he's looking back too. Oh, honey, that's cute. What does he do? He just kind of talked about me. Oh. So, can I start you boys with something to drink? March? Mason! I did not see that one coming. Surprise! What were you doing there? Working, honey. I got the job last week. When Mason died, he didn't leave much of anything but a bunch of debt. Sorry. <laughs> the challenges of marriage. They continue long after it's ended. Wait, you got the job there last week? Yeah. I tried to get a job there. They told me they weren't hiring. Oops. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, I can look into it if you think you still need something. Maybe. I kind of like having all this time to just audition and just be a lazy bum. Just a little while longer. <laughs> oh, that sounds nice. Where can I get an application? And how much does it pay? <laughs> <laughs> it pays pretty well, actually. I used to feel bad about taking money from my mom, but ever since I came out to her, it's just... It's been so bad. I kind of feel like she owes me. So it's like I'm literally making her pay for hating me. I'm sure she doesn't hate you, Mason. Well, she hates who I am. What's the difference? Oh, God. If I can have a gay husband, she should be able to have a gay son. <laughs> right? Right? How are there enough cows? Hey, Ray. Can I borrow those sunglasses? You mean the ones I just bought? Yeah. The ones that cost more than your computer. Yeah. Pretty please? If you get one scratch, <gasps> oh, you you might... <laughs> Ray, you're a better man than me. What the hell is wrong with your own glasses? Oh, he's got a day with that Ryan Reynolds Australian accent guy. Mmm, pictures please. As a former gay, I'm just living vicariously for you guys. <laughs> Ew. Is that thing with Jennifer still happening? Hmm, I guess. I'm trying anyway. I, I just really want to be in Jaden's life. Well, we get that. But you don't have to be with her. Kids have gay dads. Look, I know that. But I, I do still love her, though. I mean, part of me still kind of enjoys the... Vagina? Yeah. <laughs> Vagina. <laughs> well, come on. Part of you yeah. still misses the dick, too, right? Yeah. You get enough for all of us. <sighs> it's a tough job, my friend, and I have been chosen to do it. A job that's gotten so much easier now that Ryan's out of the house. So glad that's over. Uh, how's he doing? Don't know, don't care. I gotta go to the hospital. I... You can just let yourself in. Doors unlocked. Glasses are on the dresser. You leave your door unlocked? Yeah, the door, man. Whatever. <laughs> oh, can you go over to my place tomorrow between 12 and 2? Okay. I have a really important package coming, and the tracking says that it's coming, so... I just need somebody there, you know. I have a really big call back. I can't miss it. Okay. Hey, Chad. While I'm making my rounds, you need me to go to your place, too? <laughs> I'm good. I do not have a door, man, so you will need this to get in. Okay. Hey, you okay? <laughs> what do you care? What? Look, thanks for picking up the package tomorrow. If something comes up with Danny or Lincoln or Herb or somebody might meet between now and home, just let me know. I'm sure that the, the delivery guy can uh, leave a note or something. I'm just going to walk. Okay. What took you so long? Sorry, I was getting the bees. What the hell are those for? Are those flowers gonna suck my dick? Are they scented with poppers? Just thought we could maybe talk or something first this time. This time? Are you the one that left that note? <laughs> You're funny. 
Like you have like multiple guys here like per day. Not like I do, especially after kicking out my ex-boyfriend. I've been on overdrive dusting off the dust and oiling away the rust. Well, how about you slow down? I'm sure you're all oiled and dust free by now. Uh, I don't. Kiss. Yes, you told me that the first time. Dr. Kirsch. Oh, hey, Jordan. You got my email? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Wait. What do you mean I look good in those scrubs? How do you know that I'm wearing... Hi, Ray. Jordan. Jennifer, tell me you guys are back together? I guess. I'm trying to make it work. How's that working out? <laughs> trying was the operative word. So Jen said you moved away, where to? I've been here, but didn't want you to think I was stalking you, so I mostly stayed clear of the Upper East Side. Figured that was your territory. But here is in New York? Yep. I took a job about a month after you left, but purely coincidental, but I all swear. all this time you didn't say anything? I didn't think you'd want to see me. Of course I'd want to see you. And while Jennifer's pulse rate rose, all over Manhattan, I was falling. Wow. <laughs> wow. That was... I'm amazing. <laughs> we, we were going to say amazing? Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> because I was going to say amazing, so that would have been awkward if you weren't going to say amazing. <laughs> Mason, I think you are an amazing person. You think so? Yes. I really do think so. I think you're the amazing one. I said, I have to tell you something. What is it? You can tell me anything. I... Mason? I, oh, shit. That's my roommate. You want dinner? Oh. You eat me yet? Oh. Oh. oh, I brought dinner. <laughs> Where's Danny now? I think he went to see his parents for the week. I think Lincoln and I probably scared him off for a while. Uh, what does uh, Lincoln think about you living with this guy? Well, you can ask him when he gets here. That's why I had you guys come over. He's coming. Oh, cool. Can't wait to meet him. Ooh, I can't wait to meet him too. Hey, you hands off. <laughs> he is mine. Danny, you can have. Do you need a roommate? <laughs> Don't you dare. I just got rid of mine. What about you, Ellie? Uh, you need a roommate? I don't think what you're doing is very nice. He's just giving this guy a place to stay. Yeah, and after all he's put him through. <laughs> it's not fair. It's not right. What exactly are you referring to? I think you're selfish. Um, oh, you want me to hold your earrings, girl? What is your problem with me? You're stringing along this poor guy who obviously still loves you. You're flaunting your love of the week in front of his face. Got an herb? My god, has anybody even heard from herb? Because I heard from you about how amazing he was before you tossed him in the trash like everybody else. That's what you do. 
lost my appetite. Well, wait, Australia wait. can have my seat. Elliot! Just let him go, girl. Let him go. Something was coming up, so I just let myself in. I hope it's okay. Yes, of course. Here, um, this is everybody. And that was Elliot, but just something came up. Nice to meet you all. So, uh, what do you do, Lincoln? I'm a dancer. You are? Have you two met? Chad. So, like a stripper? Chad. I'm <laughs> kidding, I'm kidding. Unless you are. <laughs> no, ballet mostly. Hmm. Cool. Okay, so here are the menus. We can decide what we're gonna have. I thought you said you were making dinner. Well, yeah, whatever we get, I'm gonna put it on plates and stuff. Uh, <laughs> thank God. Guess I won't be needing this. Uh. <laughs> oh, well. So, uh, dancing anywhere now? Uh, not at the moment, no. Uh, what part of Australia? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's one of my favorite countries. Uh, did you grow up there or here? Guys, what is this, 20 questions? Look at your menus. Let's, let's decide what we're gonna have. Come on, let's...